Another question for you on social media. You tweeted in support of Congressman Nunez's suit against Twitter. There's part of a larger discussion that Senator Josh Hawley's been leading about making social media uh, companies liable for the content that is on their platform, which they're not currently. Is that an idea or a change in law that you would support? Well, we have to do something. I tell you, I have uh, many, many millions of followers on Twitter, and it's different than it used to be. Uh, things are happening. Names are taken off. People aren't getting through. You've heard the same complaints. And it seems to be if they're conservative, if they're Republicans, if they're in a certain group, uh, there's discrimination and big discrimination. I see it absolutely on Twitter and uh, Facebook, which I have also, and others I see. But I really focus more on the one platform. And I have many, flat, many different platforms. It's, I guess, we have 60 million, almost 60 million on Twitter. And if you add them all up, it's way over 100 million people. And I get to see firsthand what's going on, and it's not good. And we use the word collusion very loosely all the time. And I will tell you, there is collusion with respect to that, because something has to be going on. And when you get the vaccine back office uh, statements made by executives of the various companies, and you see the level of, uh, in many cases, hatred they have for a certain group of people that happen to be in power, that happen to have won the election, you say that's really unfair. So something's happening with uh, those groups of folks that are running Facebook and Google and Twitter. And I do think we have to get to the bottom of it. It's very fair. It's collusive, and it's very, very uh, fair to say that we have to we have to do something about it. And if we don't, you know, the the incredible thing is that we can win an election, and we have such a uh, stacked deck. And that includes networks. Frankly, you look at the networks, you look at the news, you look at the newscasts. I call it fake news. I'm very proud to hear the president use the term fake news. But you look at what's happening with the networks, you look at what's happening with different shows, and uh, it's, it's hard to believe we win. But, you know, I'll tell you what it really shows. The people are smart. The people get it. They'll go through all of that, whatever it is they're fed, and in the end they pull the right lever. It's a very, very uh, dangerous situation. So I think I agree. I think something has to be looked at very closely.